Okay, control systems. Uh, we're going to start um, by, uh, I guess, deriving uh, closed loop transfer functions from a given block diagram. So typically, most most uh, control systems they have um, they they can be expressed as the output function. And also, I'm referring to page 111 on your um, on the FE handbook, measurement and controls. So the relationship between the output to the input R of S, let's call it um, T of S maybe or whatever. This is typically given by uh, G of S, which is the forward path over one plus the return path, which is G of S, H of S. So this is typically uh, how most control systems are expressed. Now in this case over here, there's no H of S. Uh, this is called a unity feedback, basically, because there's no H of S over here. This is equal to one. Okay. So your T of S is your, um, this is the closed loop uh, transfer function, the whole thing, closed loop transfer function. Okay, so this is just some basic um, reviews, I guess, to kind of refresh our memories a little bit. Um, and here, this is called G of S and H of S. Um, is called the open loop open loop transfer function and if you were to find the closed loop zeros and um, poles we would equate um, uh, T of S to zero to find the closed loop poles and zeros and to find the open loop poles and open loop zeros we would have to equate this to zero now um, zeros we equate the numerator to zero and the denominator to zero for the poles. But we're going to do some examples in that. This is basically just a, a little review on on getting this. So um, in our example over here, if you were to apply this particular formula, um, y of s would be equal to y of s over r of s is equal to g of s. This is the gain k. Uh, it can be, it's called k, yes. Sometimes W and we're gonna do some examples on where, you know, we find the stability of of a control system and etc. So this is just um, to basically derive transfer functions, closed loop transfer function mainly from block diagrams. So k is a gain. Uh, so g of s is the whole thing over here, the forward path basically. So k multiplied by g of s here. So this would be um, one over s s plus one over one plus g of s h of s now that's the return path this is g of s and the return path here is unity is equal to one but um, there are some problems where we have a function over here and in that case we would have to multiply that by g of s but in this case we don't have to so we only have g of s okay because h of s here is one so we would have k one over s s plus one now and then of course we simplify um, uh, you know we, we just multiply out and simplify and get our answer for the uh, uh, closed loop transfer function now most problems are not this straightforward you know sometimes we would have a summation over here or maybe here and then bunch of um, feedback systems over here and whatnot so we're gonna have to learn how to derive this okay how to derive the uh, the relationship between the um, the output to the input so I'm gonna do that but this is a formula right here straightforward uh, when you have this kind of uh, you know a typical system like the one shown above okay so um, to derive this, basically, to derive that and to prove, maybe not a proof, but um, to derive this, you, we we can learn that, right? Um, and 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 if we do that, then uh, any problem that we're given, we can basically find a relationship. So, how do we do that? Typically, this is called an error over here. Let's call this error coming back from here, E of S. 
okay so there's a summation over here so e of s is equal to r of s coming in minus y of s okay r of, r of s minus y of s if we had a plus sign over here then it would be plus of course okay so what's I of, y of s y of s is its straight path is the uh, forward path y of s is k times that so we have k 1 over it's really good to know how to derive it just in case we have a crazy problem where you can't just go ahead and, and do this you know sometimes like I was saying earlier sometimes we have a summation and then it gets confusing so knowing um, how to get it really really helps even though sometimes it's, it takes long but it's worth it so you have y of s is equal to um, uh, y of s is equal to the whole function coming in here okay times e of s of course because you have everything the forward path is is the whole thing e of s I almost forgot that one okay so that's your y of s now we can go ahead and replace um, e of s because we already know that okay so e of s no not e of s um, I mean y of s sorry y of s is equal to k 1 s s plus 1 right times e of s what's e of s? e of s is r s minus that so we have r of s minus um, what's e of s? yes minus y of s okay so we can just work this out so y of s is equal to we can multiply this out so we have r of s times k 1 over s s plus 1 minus y of s minus y of s k uh, 1 over s s plus 1 okay so now we have a y of s here and we have another y of s here if we um, put y of s here then I will be plus and I can take out y of s so y of s So y of s is equal to, I mean y of s plus, or maybe, okay, this is what I was going to do. So we have 1 here, and then if this comes on the other side, it would be plus k 1 over s, s plus 1. Okay, so that's the terms with y of s, and this is equal to r of s um, one, uh, k s s plus 1 okay so now if we divide um, both sides by r of s to get um, y s over r of s because that's our goal so y of s over r of s so if we divide both sides this is the only thing that's left and then um, if we divide both sides by this then we have our answer so that would be k s s plus 1 over 1 plus k s s plus 1 so you see 
that is similar to this over here. This we just apply the formula straight and here we derive uh, the formula from the uh, from the block diagram so you see that it's it's exactly the same from here and here same thing so if you have if we have um, a typical um, a typical control system like this with a feedback system we can go ahead and apply the formula right here identifying our feedback system and just go ahead and straight up do it but if it's not involved if if we don't have a typical one then we would have to learn how to derive it and that's what we did over here so in other videos I, ha I will um, uh, maybe solve some other problems where we can't automatically just use this where we have to um, derive it but it's a good thing it's good practice to actually learn how to derive it so there you have it thanks and see you at the next one